presenting a very unusual case. Uh, she was second para, uh, underwent a medical termination and presented to us with acute abdominal pain and no bleeding. Uh, when we did sonography, the endometrial cavity was empty. Someone had tried DNA outside, but no product of conception was identified. So on retrospection, when we did detailed sonography, we could see a G-sec inside the myometrium and it was completely uh, in a different plane from the endometrial cavity and there was a linear demarcation between the two. And that was the fibrotic band. So we decided to go ahead with uh, office hysteroscopy. It being the obstetric uterus, you have to work on very low pressure and less dilatation. So we uh, chose a 1.8 mm uh, tiny telescope with a, a diagnostic sheath initially and uh, both the osteas were clearly visible there was a bulge visible near the fundus more on the left side and uh, from the bulge the product of conception were visible you can see the white dot so uh, before uh, doing the operative hysteroscopy we decided to put uh, a trans abdominal uh, sonography so under guidance of trans abdominal sonography uh, we can do more precise work so bladder was filled and uh, under uh, abdominal sonography guidance we started dissecting that fibrotic band behind which the product of conception was visible so as soon as the band was released using uh, cold scissor we could uh, see product of conception beautifully coming out of that myometrial pocket. Now the advantage of transabdominal sonography here was uh, that we uh, saw that there was a safe distance of around one centimeter uh, from the place where we were working. So uh, hypoechoic endometrial cavity was apparently visible and there was sufficient amount of myometrium above the place uh, where pregnancy was there. There was some amount of uh, product of conception which was buried inside the myometrium and uh, with cold scissor, as you can see, uh, it was dissected. To complete the uh, process of removal of product of conception, we decided to do a, a DNA using a disposable garments cannula number 7 under transabdominal sonography guidance. So once uh, all the products were detached from its uh, myometrial base, uh, DNE under sono guidance was planned. And as you can see here, uh, it was very essential to completely detach it uh, from the myometrial uh, area so that the products can be removed and it becomes a uh, part of the endometrial cavity. So now you can see here uh, under sono guidance to avoid creating a false passage uh, common scanula uh, was used and complete evacuation of the product was confirmed on trans abdominal and at the end of the procedure on trans vaginal sonography also.